Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. We have been already talking about how to use adaptive card in SharePoint Framework, and today I want to explain you how you can use an adaptive card as the UI for a task model built in Microsoft Teams. And specifically, I will show you how to use your Teams to provide the UI of a task model using an adaptive card and how to collect input field using an adaptive card. As you will see, it is really straightforward and the your Teams generator will provide all of the plumbing for you so that your life will be really easy whenever you want to use an adaptive card to build the UI. You will simply need to design the card and include the card definition in the rendering of the task model and eventually in the rendering of the output of the task model if it is, for example, a task model for a messaging extension. So, let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to create a task model based on an adaptive card. So, first of all, let's have a look at the UI of the solution that I'm going to show you. So, let's imagine that I want to create a new conversation and here I have a messaging extension in the Compose message box. I can click on it and we can see that this is the UI provided by your Teams and it has been built using an adaptive card. So here I can collect uh, the first name of the user as well as the email address of the user. Let's provide my data just for the sake of making an example. And by clicking on the OK button, I can see an adaptive card in the output of the uh, messaging extension just inserted in the content of my message in the Compose message box. How can we create such kind of solution? Well, First of all, using the Your Teams generator, we can go through all of the steps of the wizard and specifically we can select to create a messaging extension command, as you can see right here. We can provide all of the settings for the messaging extension and specifically we can select to use an adaptive card as the UI for the messaging extensions that we are building. Then we need to do all of the steps that I showed you already in a previous video about how to create messaging extension with Microsoft Teams. And inside the implementation of the messaging extension, whenever we will show the uh, uh, task model, so in the on fetch task of the messaging extension, we will simply have to provide as the result the content of an adaptive card. Here we are using the adaptive card SDK for JavaScript and we simply use the card factory to create an adaptive card and to provide the body which will simply be based on a text block and on an input text for the first name and another text block and another input text for the email. Uh, notice the ID of the uh, fields, so the ID of the first input text is full name and the ID of the other input text is email and this one is of a style email because it will be used to collect an email address. Then we have an action which will be an action.submit and when we submit uh, something we will get the uh, submission in the on submit action and there we simply create another adaptive card to collect the output from the user and to provide it as the content of the message in the message composition UI. So we create another adaptive card and we provide a text block with value.data. This will be the complex object returned by the submission of the previous adaptive card. And there we will find the full name and the mail properties which will uh, precisely map uh, to the name of the input field that we have uh, in the adaptive card that we use to create the UI of our form. So, really simple and straightforward. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.